Hello, Diego. I've already talked to Milton on the other side of the camp. Okay, so you already know what happened. But did you also hear about the planned raid on the Free Mine? A raid on the Free Mine? That's a long story. How could the old mine cave in? One of the diggers who survived it told us that they were digging, and they hit an underground river on the bottom level. When the water gushed into the mine, one of the supports broke, and the entire upper section collapsed. Only a handful of people managed to escape from the mine. Just tell me about it. It's not the first long story I've had to listen to. Well then, luckily I was in the Ore Baron's house when they got the news that the mine had collapsed. Gomez was hopping mad when he heard about the accident, and he was afraid that his position could be at stake. Of course. Who controls the ore controls the colony as well. That's right. Since he has no source of income anymore, the goods from the outside world won't come in anymore either. Nobody will work for him if he doesn't get another source of income soon. And that's the reason for the raid on the free mine? To be honest, that's Gomez's only chance to maintain his power. Two hours ago, two dozen guards set out for the free mine. But what happened to the fire mages? Caristo and the other mages were the only people in the camp to remain rational. They forbade the raid and demanded a settlement with the two other camps. They forbade Gomez to raid the free mine? Well, yes. Caristo and the others shouldn't have been so self-confident. Gomez didn't trust them anymore and had them perfidiously assassinated. What are you and Milton going to do now? We'll stay here for a while to warn some more friends so they don't bump straight into the guards. But you could do us a favor. I've seen the guards in front of the locked gates. Stay away from them. They'll attack anybody approaching the camp. They are afraid of somebody avenging the raid on the free mine. Consider it done. Tell me what you want. Look out for Lester and Gorn. They need to know what happened here. Tell them that the four of us will meet at the same place as always. If I see them before you do, I'll warn them and send them to your meeting point. Thanks, my friend. You really seem to be an all right guy. Go now. We'll meet again later. That's mad. I need to warn the new camp. Then you must hurry up. They'll have almost reached the free mine. But they never get through the fortifications of the new camp. They don't need to get through them. A few months ago, they found a path that leads over the mountains and right to the free mine, and nobody else knows about it. Take care. Glad you returned. Something terrible has happened. Let me guess, the free mine has been assaulted by the guards from the old camp. Nobody saw them coming? Hang on. How? But of course. You found out about it in the old camp. Gorn arrived here just before you did. What could have caused Gomez to dare to take such an aggressive step? He should be aware that such a heinous act can only provoke war. The old mine collapsed after water seeped in. Collapsed? Of course. 
then the whole thing makes sense. Gomez has his back to the wall. He's more dangerous than ever. Now that he doesn't have anything left to lose, he'll do anything. Gomez has had all of the Magicians of Fire killed. Had them killed? Why in Beliar's name would he do a thing like that? They were against the attack on the Free Mind and opposed Gomez. Then we're all doomed. Without the other six Magicians, we'll never be able to control the concentrated power of the massive ore mound. But in spite of that, I thank you for passing this dangerous message on to me. When you sent me to the Magicians of Fire, you mentioned there was somebody. Well, I had hoped we could make it without his help, but the way things are developing... Who is he? All right, all right. Many, many years ago. Give me the shortened version, please. Be patient. Well, when we, the Twelve Magicians, created the barrier back then, our magic powers were directed and controlled by a Thirteenth Magician. A Thirteenth Magician? I thought there were only Twelve. Most people who did not experience the early days of the colony believe that. This thirteenth magician was our leader. All this took place before we were divided into the circles of fire and water. But he left the old camp, which was once the only camp of the colony. Why did he leave the old camp? He started to investigate the invocation of undead and magical creatures. Gomez was not the only one who began to worry. Most of the other magicians opposed him as well, and his unholy deeds. What happened then? Unlike Gomez, he was no butcher, so he avoided the conflict and left. What is this 13th magician called? His name is Zardus. Hardly anybody remembers the old stories about him. The ones who do just call him the Necromancer. Where is this magician today? He lives in seclusion, in his tower, in the middle of the Orc land. That's just about the southernmost point of the colony. I'll make my way to Zardus and ask him for help. He's the only one that can help us now. If he knows no way out or doesn't want to help us, he will. There is one other problem. A problem? Yes. Over the years, we've tried to get in touch with Zardus several times, but it looks like he prefers to remain undisturbed. What does that mean? None of the messengers ever return from his tower. You'll have to find a way to get past his creatures. Looks like this is going to be interesting. How will I get past his creatures? If I knew that, I would tell you. I'd advise you to do some research in our library. Maybe you'll find something in the old books about the strengths and weaknesses of magically invoked creatures. I'll rummage through the library, and don't worry, I'll be back. I have been exiled from the old camp because I have helped you. You don't belong to the old camp any longer? Then I welcome you to our community. Does that mean the mercenaries will take me on? Talk to Lee, he'll see to it, then come back to me. May you return in one piece? Hello! What have you got planned now? Our entire defense strategy will have to be changed. That takes time. Until Lee and his people are ready, I'll join Kord's Provisional Guard. Are you planning a counterattack? Not yet, but the day will come. If ever you're looking for me, start here and walk towards the mine. I'll be on guard there. Hello! I met Diego and Milton in front of the old camp. That's good news. They want to meet you and Lester at your usual rendezvous. Thanks. There's nothing more valuable than good friends in troubled times like these. You're almost one of us by now. You're reliable. See you later.
Hello. What do you think about the mine? They've gone too far. They'll be sorry for it. The old camp has banned me. I'd like to join you. You've done much for our camp. I can make good use of men like you. Let's keep it short. Welcome to the new camp, mercenary. Here, take some armor. Good that you're here with us. Can you teach me something? I can help you to get stronger and more dexterous. May I pass through here? May I pass? Hello. I need better armor. You'll first have to earn your armor. Apart from that, they don't come cheap. Give me the heavy armor. This armor is the best piece you'll ever get inside the barrier, and believe me, it's worth the ore. I want to learn how to handle a two-handed sword. Okay, let's go through the basics first. Hold the sword in a horizontal position. You'll need a great swing to attack your opponent with such a heavy weapon. Raise your arm and swing it straight down. That's usually enough to knock the opponent down. Use the momentum of the weapon to bring it straight back up again. Two-handed swords are ideal for coordinating side hits to keep the opponents at a distance. That should do to begin with. Have a practice. Greetings. Lee has admitted me to the mercenaries. Good, very good. And you are now officially a part of our community. Be welcome. May you return in one piece?
As long as I'm not... You shouldn't be.
Greetings. May you return in one. Greetings. Greetings. Show me your goods. Greetings.
Hello. I am now one of Lara's men. Have you got a message for me to take over to- I do indeed. But you'll need to carry the sign of one of our messengers. Here, take the letter and- I want to- Are we? Ah, you're probably right. That won't happen again.
Oh, my God. 